Yeah, look, I'm just going to do a, uh, a quick video on uh, accounts payable. Um, so we have a few in here already. So um, what I want to do is create one, just to show you how to uh, how to actually start a new one. So we're going to go and create. Okay, so in here I want to um, I would just want to do a test. So we've got a test in here. And then we need to select the day that we're going to invoice it out. So it's 27th today, so we'll go from today. Okay, so then we need to find in a um, what the actual product is and what we're actually invoicing out. So in here we need to go into the account and we need to, in here we need to show which one, uh, which category it comes under. So we need to look for the one that we're actually specifically invoicing out for. Okay, so then. I want to try and find crane servicing which is in here so that's here so that's crane servicing so we'll select that and then that comes up in here okay and so for this quantity it's just one and we can e equally we can change this so this can be we can charge for one day one dozen one hour one later one month or one per visit or one unit so for this one I'm just gonna put um, one unit okay and that unit price and we'll make that to whatever dollar value we think it is so if we service the crane then we're going to say let's just say for instance it's one hundred dollars and that's what that is okay and then we need to write a description in the description box so we'll just put in there simply crane service okay and that's done but then now we need to do is change the tax so make sure that we're taxing in the right category and we're always we're always going to be um, using sales GST 10 okay and that's what um, the tax is on top of this here so then we are finished with this screen so we go save and close once we've done that the data then comes in underneath below here so we can see that okay we then importantly we need to go and now update this so we need to click on update once we've updated as you can see it's updated the tax and that's how much is actually owed if we need to put any additional information in here then we write additional information in here no problem if we need to add a follower then we need to go through here so we can add a follower so either Anthony or Lara or somebody can actually see what we've done in this field here now once we've done that we hit save then that takes us into the draft invoice okay now that will just sit there as a draft until we actually validate it okay so we need to validate that all this information in here is correct so I'm pretty sure that's correct then we click validate now this will then take us to a valid invoice a tax invoice now this tax invoice needs to be printed out once we print it out it will then save in here as an attachment so we hit print and it'll ask me to save it to my desktop which is here just click save and as you can see it's gone into the attachments now this is now ready to send off to the customer with the attachment and then once we receive payment from this we can then register this payment and then and that will become um, accounts uh, receivable okay thank you